As a biologist, to see a treatment candidate go from the lab to the clinic is really a dream come true. Cachexia is a, a complex metabolic disease resulting in severe weight loss. It includes muscle wasting, appetite loss, fatigue, and reductions in physical activity and function. Cachexia impacts a variety of different patient groups. The most well-known would be patients with cancer, but can also impact patients with heart failure and chronic kidney disease and many others. GDF15 is short for Growth Differentiation Factor 15. GDF15 has been found to be associated with the severity of cachexia as well as survival. The new space for Pfizer, this was the first program for cachexia. At the beginning of this project, although some of the biology of GDF15 was known, a lot of it was unknown. This makes the drug discovery process very difficult. I think in working with the internal medicine research unit, and they were able to uncover the receptor and a lot of the biology of how GDF15 functions in, in humans. And that information was baked into what sort of drug we wanted to discover. The affinity of the protein, the potency of the protein, the cachexia research landscape has changed or grown quite dramatically over the last decade. Very early on, we um, solved the crystal structure of GDF15. We were able to use that structure to help predict where the potential receptors could be. And um, this helped us to build our confidence that we have the right potential leads to take forward. So those first experiments in the preclinical models where we were silencing GDF15 and seeing body weight increase were really exciting moments for the team in confirming this hypothesis of this mechanism for being relevant in cachexia. And it's not often in biology that you see a mechanism touch on so many different dimensions of a disease. I think one of the common misconceptions about cachexia is that it's an uncontrolled process. What I mean by that is that cachexia is actually a controlled process where there are a series of proteins interacting with one another to elicit a signal cascade which results in the phenotype of muscle wastage and weight loss. I think towards the end of the preclinical drug discovery where we see our hits coming through, then that's the sort of moment where we know that we have a, a potential candidate that can go forward. The way we approach the drug discovery and design process really is to think through what we need in the end from a patient perspective. A scientific breakthrough for me is the moment that translates the hypothesis into reality. I think ultimately our goal is to design and make medicines that change patients' lives. My hope is that through this Cachexia project, we can improve the quality of life of patients, maybe even improve their chances at receiving optimal cancer treatments, giving them more time to spend with their loved ones, and bring joy back to life.